son of the morning Lucifer, son of the morning I'm gonna chase you out of earth And Australia's a big place. Uh, there's millions and millions of square miles of, of nothing, if you believe the globalist view. So do you really need that much room for less than 5,000 scientists? And that's multinational? Do you really need that much? No, of course you don't. All right. <laughs> Um, Matthew Rosa says, Mark's rapping is just like your wrestling impressions. <laughs> really? See, see previous episode for the rapping. Thank you. Seriously? Or don't, my, or don't my, my, yourself. My Randy the Macho Man Savage, wasn't that good? Fine. Uh, oh, all right. Hogan. I can't do any impressions, and everyone should be quite happy about it. Sorry. Macho Man. They probably sound like they're realistic impressions in your own head, but when they oh, actually come oh, out, they're not good. You know, like Seriously, you... look up Randy the Macho Man Savage. He was the best. He was the most... Uh, he was so great to listen to. In fact, I used him in one of the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. Uh, this is a question or statement from Papa Neil, Mark, I know that you feel that this distortion hides God, but have you thought about how much physics this distorts slash hides? Ed Leeds Galinin, I'm sure said that wrong, said he had to ungimp his mind to do what he accomplished. Do you feel that we be are we are being robbed of basic physics? Uh, uh, I don't know if I, are we rob, being robbed of basic physics? What are basic physics? Um, if you're talking about astrophysics, then yeah, there's stuff out there. Uh, th we're, we're talking about foundations that were flawed to begin with. So anybody that did work start in, in the fields of uh, astrophysics, Einstein, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, um, it doesn't really matter. The point is they were all based on flawed models. So yeah, yeah, whatever's happening out there in space, it's all, it's all based on, alright, I'm going to take this one and let's take it I'll make it easier for the people who listen because I don't want to get into <clears throat> a lot of astrophysics. Think of this, when you see, and we normally we'd flash a picture up on, on the screen, but when you see those cross sections of the earth and they're cut open like a, like a giant gobstopper and you see, you know, red, then orange, then yellow, then white, uh, and all these layers and then the globe is supposedly 8,000 miles thick, you know, less than that, 7,000 miles thick. If they've only drilled down at the deepest 12 kilometers, which is just under, you know, just about 8 miles, what's that picture of exactly? Uh, because if they've only driven down 8 miles, that's less than a thousandth of the entire distance of going through this thing. So, it's all guesswork, but yet they're still not telling you that. They're saying, oh no, it's this, 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 and this. It's red, you know, it's red, orange, yellow, white, and... Even though they should just be putting a giant question mark in the center of it on the maps for you, they're going to tell you what it is, and they'll even take it. They'll take it as far as the public will let them. So not only are they going to tell you what the Earth's made of, they're going to also tell you, show you the cross sections of every planet in the solar system, and they're yes. even talking about super Earths, stuff in distant galaxies. Oh yeah, that's absolutely where we should go next. You know, uh, it's so many light years away, and we can already tell it's habitable. What are you talking about? Where, where are you getting this? Do you really know the average temperature and oxygen content and water content and everything else that's going on in that planet? You don't even know what's going on in your planet. In fact, you can't even show us it's a planet. And you're telling us what's going on out there? No. No. Uh, not mind it for a second. So yeah, we're being robbed of physics right and left. True physics. That's me being kind of cranky because this headset is pitching my head. Well, you can take your hat off now. Oh, all there. No, I'm going to stay. It's a hat show. Hats, hats do give me um, headaches sometimes, so I tend to buy them too big. Well, Same with shoes. I buy shoes slightly too big as well, just to, I um, don't my foot crushed. Well, you have big feet. I, I do kind of have big feet. They're very narrow. And they're kind of big hands, and they're kind of webbed. 
people take to big games. And this thing, it's not that the hat hurts, it's that the headset is underneath the hat. And the headset was not meant to be underneath the hat. You're doing it all for the show. Yeah, I am. I can it's crushing my head, crushing, crushing, crushing my head. That's a Kids in the Hall reference, in case anyone got that. You, I know you know you watch Kids in the Hall. That's Canadian comedy troupe similar to Money Pun. I, I saw Money Pun. Thank God, because if you hadn't seen that, you MC3D says it's time to give up on the He's been making some really stupid things with the Air Force Round. Yes, I saw a recent video of his where he's out on the, on the beach in Florida and he points to a ship and says, Look, it's disappearing over the uh, curve. That proves the Earth is round. Almost, almost flaunting this belief system that he's got. Laughing yeah. at us. Why, why didn't he just say that the ship fell off the edge at that point? Maybe time to give up on him. I no, think. no, 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 not yet. He's again one. It, first, it's in his head, which means he's thinking about it. He's thinking enough of, that he's actually made you know a video on it and thrown it in there, and he wasn't shy about doing it. It wasn't a little backhanded remark. It was you know he went out of his way to say it. Uh, two, some people take longer than others. Uh, I, you want a good debate? I would put Rob Skiba uh, up against Ken Hoven. I think yes. that would be a fantastic debate. Yes. From a biblical standpoint, let those two slug it out with verses. Just start throwing the King James at each other. Uh, that would be awesome. And uh, Ken, if you're listening, it, Rob's a good guy. Uh, you can listen to some of his interviews out there. He'd be he'd be very uh, cordial with you. But I think you guys have some stuff to talk about. And Tiger Dan too. Tiger Dan would be a great choice. Yeah. Excellent. Tiger Dan as well. I don't know what his feelings are about Ken Hoven. Uh, Rob Rob actually saw Kent when he was younger. And uh, he actually went to a Kent Hoven presentation. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Next statements, question on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, the secret show, show with hats, is with hats. from Alex Rubio. Are you putting lip balm on? We saw I am. That. Show with hats. get chapped they do. during the, the, the show. The show get well, yeah, because I talk a lot. Uh, sh show with cats and, I'm sorry, the show with hats and the show with cats. Yes, so there's still one cat left to show, Greer, Sorry. the girl cat, and uh, she hasn't come over here yet because she's frightened of my hat. Um, no, don't seriously, forget, don't forget I'm replacing my, I'm replacing my Sergeant personalized license plate with a customized flat earth license plate, which I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm going to steal it. on it as well but I also had somebody beeping their horn and flipping me off they were obviously somebody here in Texas who maybe might be a cattle rancher I was about to say the beef industry don't forget that uh, remember when Oprah went on uh, the air during one of her shows and saying I think everyone should stop eating burgers and she was immediately uh, taken to court by the, uh, the meat, meat packing industry it's hard the vegan thing is hard uh, not to be vegan but um, dealing with the people who hate you just the same way flat earth is uh, flat earthers get the same kind of trolls and that sort of thing that, that vegans get. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it might even be the same people working in the same troll office, <laughs> trolling vegans. Trolling but, but one by one, the trolls fall away, you know, and, and that's the great part about this. You know, you and maybe, maybe some trolls come on over to flat earth. You never know, because the evidence is so clear. Yeah. They should. Yeah. Let's see. We've got from Alex. Mark, don't forget to tell Stanton Friedman when you're on with the Midnight in the Desert Show with our bell on December 30th about Werner von Braun's headstone, Psalm 1921. Don't go easy on him. Just like I the know. last thing you did when a caller told you about the southern hemisphere GPS working well and not possible with the old system. Oh, 
Can you see Rory climbing on my DVDs? Well, you can't I, I can see her. Over here. Well, to, to answer that thing, you know, I'm kind of in a mixed bag here with, with Stanton, which is, if I'm going to do uh, more debates in the future, there's, you can go one of two ways. You can either, you know, be nice and cordial and diplomatic and, and listen to their points and they listen to yours and everybody's friendly and happy and that's it. Or you both start coming after each other with clubs and seeing if, if you can make the other guy cry for it.